here we are for the top up show uh, Royal Ramy. beautiful beautiful day it feels like fucking Burke's backyard in the background here with heavy sexual harassment Mark Lamble Paul Daly thanks for joining us Paul no worries yeah it's a uh, Glen windy morning but I, I think the wind's supposed to die down the rail's out four metres the track is fast because they put up a three that is fast that's a hard hard racing surface in the especially in the winter era yeah so uh Paul and I sort of thought maybe one off the fence, but Gord's worried that a uh, uh, that, uh, fortnight ago might be, um, might be our best predictor. We're um, going to roll through this quickly because we've only got a limited amount of battery. Regulation yeah. racing around. Get involved with this quickly because we're held together with plus and you'll love us. <laughs> race one and the uh, um, no actual movers in this race. So maybe Nassayim six and a half into five and a half is the best firmer in the race. Uh, she's the filly first up uh, that Collard has elected to ride over the uh, the, uh, the stable horse. Um, what, Glenn, you, you weren't on the previous show. Have you got any, anything to offer, offer us here? I was interested in three. I like the trial. I like the look of the animal. Um, I think it's an even race. Mounting guard mail for me. I need to see how a lot of these horses have come back, as you can well imagine, guys. Um, yeah, I, both Paul and I thought that Danawi would uh, was a bit short, and I th I, I'm forecasting it to blow. Um, Adana is a really interesting wallop colt resuming a second preparation that uh, that uh, caught my eye and military zone went like a Fettingham rocket as a gelding uh, on debut, sorry, when resuming at Newcastle. Race two is the uh, the highway. Paul, would you have any of the first all? Just um, nothing? Look, a uh, favourite top pick, I think it's under the odds. Uh, okay. More of a wet track type for me and military zone, echo those sentiments from Mark and the Hayes runner. Um, so. Tried really well. So, Race two, let's yeah. go. Yeah, the, no, no, uh, nothing happening really here. But we've lost a bit of the speed from this race with uh, the scratching of the third uh, Coffs Harbour horse. Amazing to see three horses from that that uh, Everpex race uh, turn up here in this highway I'm two days after we're in Coffs. Yeah, Everpex went really well. Too. Um, yeah, Glenn, any thoughts here? Oh, look, I, I did like the way Cliff finished that race off the other day. I suppose I, with J Mac on it and bit of a riding change. It looks like we're off. Um. Yeah, we're back for race two, and like I said, we're held together with the scene. Mark, race two. Look, I was saying Cliff, the riders' change was made a topic for me, but you know, race it, in pretty so-so race. Paul, you got anything? Um, look, Cisco Bay, Cliff, uh, Magic Choir, and uh, probably to a lesser extent, uh, one of the Matty Dunn's uh, roughies there, uh, Vivid Park, but it'd be a very low betting race for me. Magic Choir is set up here and it gets on pace. I, I think it's the, uh, it's the place to start. The, uh, the Wallerathon, the uh, 2400, nine of the 10 there, Waller, and apparently they're all gonna ride to the map. I don't know what they've been, we've been told? Yes. They're all gonna look at the map and ride to the map. They're riding to the map. They've got them stuck on there. How fantastic, how fantastic. Oh, honestly. Um, Oh, guys, I'm interested in the backer uppers. I'm interested in nine follow suit and uh, 12 Cormac. I'm interested in the backer uppers, the two backer uppers. I think that that follow suit's flying. Paul? Favourite's a clear top pick, but can't back it at the price. And uh, Sayed could improve today a, a little, but yeah, I'll, I'll be staying there. I think. Sayed's had the two mile and a half runs. I'm, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm very keen on Sayed in this race. Vorkloos Bay is a firmer here, I guess, off the seven day backup, but hasn't been an inch past 2000 in his life. Um, Chatelard appears to have a little bit of a, that's the Wallace stink for me about it, but uh, his 2400 metre runs are um, somewhat unconclusive. Inconclusive. Inconclusive. Yeah, like. sorry. Uh, race four, the Mayor's race, and Sweet Victory, who I'm, I've got in the chair, is $4 into, into well, it's 3 to 1 into 9 to 4. Into the, in the chair. It's been uh, tipped by a few people, but um, look, I'm, 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 I'm marking it favourite, but like much, much longer odds, and uh, I'd have to say on a price level, it's, it's the one to oppose for sure today. Um, Few of them in the chair though in this race. Yep. Nicky's gold's in the chair. Well, I think it might actually be suited up in distance. I mean, it, it is just a chance. Um, live to dream, I'm, I'm saying it's it, it's a bit of a value chance. And uh, Glenn, Oklahoma girl with blinkers on. Well, I back at every single start. This is the one time I said, right, if, if, run if, last if it won trial, today, you, you wouldn't be totally surprised. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. How's this I, the double? Oklahoma girl into Salerno in the last. Yeah. Thank you, I'll <laughs> finally be rich. Uh, what, do, what do you got here, Glenn? Uh, guys, look, I thought there was quite a few horses in the chair here, which means in the wheelchair to people who don't watch our show. Sweet Victory and um, at the, I think, other, the other thing I kind of had a little feel for was, oh, for goodness sake, Glenn, where is it? At oh, the bottom one. Yeah. Straight, it's, to, uh, straight to the lead. You know what you're getting here. Belder Sud, keep going. Yeah. All right, the uh, the mile race, uh, which is just a classic Warren McMile. Gresham, 9 to 4 into 13 to 8. 
Wow. wow. And it's a candidate for being in the chair. Well, it, you know, I, I, I'm forecasting, and the map is also forecasting Coonawarra to be on his bike here, so Gresham doesn't control. Yep. Um, maybe it's an easy, maybe it's an easy get Coonawarra. Maybe, you know, despite subsequent trial, just just can't go. Avilius is a very interesting runner in this race. You know, can't wait to have a look at it in the yard, guys, and uh, be interested to see if it's in my numbers and for my mounting yard mail. Gord wasn't that impressed with the trial. Uh, Impavito is a shocker, but dead set, it's. It's, you know, Primed. last ever chance today. Primed. I, 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 it's a horse that interests me. The one above it interests me too. What's it called? Dalmatia Prince. No, no, the one above it. Oh, I missed. High missed. High missed interests me a little bit. Well, not see you, Paul. Anything here? Uh, look, Gresham, much, much younger uh, than the favourite, the, the current price. Obviously, the import's a, a big query, but for me, Impervito is a chance today. The 1200 and Bella Vella, a horse that Paul mentioned on the show yesterday, on the previous show, is $13, so 12 to 1 into 15 to 2. Wow. Um, Smart Edge remains favourite, intuition is still there. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit up for grabs this race, Glenn. I thought the favourite gets the job done here coming off the wind. Okay. It's, 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 a, it's a, a sound horse that will enjoy a really dry track. I'm talking about. What's this friggin' name? Smart Edge. Smart Edge. So, I'm tipping Smart Edge. No, 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 nothing tricky there for me. What about you, Paul? Um, smart Edge, um, but I want a bit better price. And Bella Bella. You always <coughs> want a bit better price. No, but that's okay. Oh, normally he I've says, normally, says, to. normally okay. says it's too short, but he, yeah. this time he said, I want a better price, which means he likes it. You've got to read between the lines, Glenn. Yeah. I'm saying Bella Bella for punters that want to have an each way play today. Look, to me, it's, it, it's going to race well. Right, that's the Ian Craig tip for the day. Race seven, um, the Boom Horse, Kamatari. Yeah, he's out to 220. Um, Stinks of bad Glen, and uh, yeah, well, it's, it's uh, just a beauty. This you is see, the, see this horse, and you just think of Glen Pollock. Oh, I just can't wait for this horse to be unlucky, running home to beat second in for a great preparation. Just Egyp can see it now. Egyptian symbol and the monster are the morning firmers. Wow, the Egyptian symbol. Eh? Well, the, the rating from the monster, I can understand what expected. That's what, what because it's a fit horse and it's got a yeah, rating last time. It'll be up there and yeah, yeah. Oh, you wouldn't back it, but I can understand why it's been. It gets a bit thin the second half of this field, doesn't well, it? Well, there's some look. The, the top half is oozing quality. I mean, you, you look. I, I'm, Paul doesn't have much of an opinion of Pierrata, but I love. I really like this horse, and you know, even a horse like Lanciato has got. Um, See, horse I'm tipping on the race mark is a placement. I think four dollars sixty, four dollars eighty. Lanciato's a nice bet. It'll run through the line here today. It'll run fifth, fourth, or third or second. Paul, favourite, yes or no? Uh, favourite. There's, there's only two scenarios that we talked about, Mark. It's either today they're going to have it wound up and it wins, or uh, as Glenn said, they, uh, today's not quite the day, uh, and in which case Music Magnate could be dangerous. Uh, the penultimate and Island Missile, 9 to 4 into 7 to 4. Um, it's a little bit of money for Sam Doubt and Dancers. A race I didn't do, guys, so I'm, I'm in your hands. Um, I know that uh, everyone, all the early form judges at Coffs were uh, spruiking Island Missile. There's a lot to like about him, but Map could be a problem, Paul. Yeah, I think so. I, I'm, I'm probably more like seven to two. It. Um, it's not a race I can get too involved with. Though Sparky Lad is the second pick, but gee, I don't know why I've got it there. Um, but it, it, it gets the numbers and the blowout. Wally. What is it? Wally. You know, Wally. you've had success with well, Wally. I, 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 I scene of last, the crime, mate. isn't it? Scene, scene of the, the crime, crime. Track and distance. All I'm saying. Look, it, it, it's it's one of those horses, but it, at fifties, I'm going to make it a. a a decent result. All right. Well, I'm saying Island Missile is sort of obvious, but Sama Doubt is a golden switch. It's such a hateful horse, Sama Doubt, but you know what it's going to be doing here. And uh, the Lord Mayor is a very, very interesting Walla resumer because, of course, he, he didn't. He only had it for two runs last week. Uh, Lord yeah. Mayor, yeah. And then the last 1,000 metre race, a competitive race. Yeah, Gord's moral is soothing, and uh, it's four dollars into it's three to one into nine to four. Uh, specking around for um, Petrosian Prince Maytead. I'm not surprised with the specking Petrosian. It was a great run off the tapes last start. Okay, all right. Um, it's sort of be a little bit inclusive and could have got no place. I'm not surprised with money for one. I think Soothing's the one to beat, guys. Yeah, well, very likable. Are there any holes in it, Paul? Oh, look, you know, only that it was um, best part suited of the by the best part of the track and also the, the pace and, and everything. So, you know, look, I, I got a favourite four to one. Um, Pendelope, uh, interesting little gear change this morning, has come through bar plates off. Okay, that's um, good. Uh, I've got here, uh, yeah, for the hind bar plates and so the standard plates back on. So yeah, of the Gerald Ryan runners, I'm saying it's second pick for me in this race and then pretty open. Uh, I'd look, at the, it's six and five. Five's got the proper thousand metre Saturday yep. form. Six has uh, got the style. And uh, if there is a roughie in the race, all stand, um, did a good job 
against adversity last time, I thought, and he's better suited at the 1,000 here. Yeah, not, rough, rough hope too. Yeah, okay. a great card here at Randwick. We can move it on because there's battery. Get involved with us at racingrant.com.au. Email Mark, first two weeks for free. Love to have you on board. Everyone who is on board really enjoys what we do. Stacks of products, stacks of shows. What's your best bet, Mark? Uh, my best bet is actually Sayed in the uh, I Love the Distance Races. Paul, what's yours? Each way, Bella Bella. Mine's Kementari to get beat with a very unlucky Glenn Schofield, who we all know and love. Thanks very much. Cheers.